Hello everybody and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's hop straight into it. Okay. So look y'all, first card out. Okay, you all could have definitely been dealing with someone that's a recovering player from the Himalayas or uh, a pimp, if you may call it, Mac, whatever it is you choose to call it. But this is what this person was. Okay. Um, and a part of the song that I ended up got, getting was, I hate to see y'all frown, but I'd rather see you smiling. Okay. That's Andre uh, 3000. Keep your heart. Three steps. Keep your heart. These girls are smart. Play your part. Okay. That's that song, I Choose You, the international player version here. Okay. But yeah. You all definitely could have been dealing with a person that was out exploring their options here, okay? Being in that player energy here, okay? But this person, like, look, fellas, I know y'all hate to see me falling in love. You know what I'm saying? It was fun while it lasted, but I, I retired my jersey, okay? I, did, I, I, I done retired. So let me put, take this pinky ring off here, okay? And I'm finna get this woman my last name here. I'm ready to get this woman my last name here, okay? I'm ready to change some shit up. So this is what this person is wanting to do. They're telling the fellas like, look, baby, look, I choose you. I choose you. So this person choose you collective, okay? This person don't want to be in this player energy no more, okay? They done retired. They done hung their jersey up. They put that pinky ring off, okay? And they want to change it to a wedding ring here, okay? This person feels like you're just drop dead gorgeous here okay you're you're drop dead gorgeous to this person collective okay you're drop dead gorgeous you're looking good you're looking good and they ready to uh take you off the market they don't want to see you on the market you're looking too fine you're looking too good and they're like i can't let another get that okay you don't need no other body that's what they said okay and they don't want nobody else having that all right but yeah this person see you as a queen because you know what I picked up on? You're my queen to be. Okay, yeah, this person look at you as a, a absolute stunning and beautiful uh, queen here, okay? A beautiful queen, all right? That's how they view you here, okay? This person view you as their wife, okay? Their life, I heard their life, my best friend, my companion, my soulmate my gift from god okay yes you're everything to this person like monica said you're everything to me you're everything to this person here you're everything to me yes this is how this person views you you're everything okay when this person see you baby they just light up inside they smile okay if you all ever sent this person anything that is exactly what they do when they look at it here okay they just smile you're just someone i'm telling you you're drop dead gorgeous here you're looking gut okay and 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 they don't care about no other options they don't care about the fellas they don't care about none of that you know what i'm saying they choose you all right yes it says, I'll be here, I'll be here by your side to love you and protect you, be with you for life. So this person is, is this is coming up as like an emperor energy, okay? And you know, the emperor is all about protecting what's theirs here, okay? Protecting what's theirs here, all right? This person, like, it's like vow to you. I heard vows. So this person is like, they, they vow to you like i'll always be there for you you know i'll be by your side through sickness and health richer or poor you know what i'm saying this person i'm telling you is gonna vow to you like i'm gonna be here for you i'm gonna provide for you i'm gonna protect you i'm gonna love you i'm gonna take care of your heart i'm gonna just be here for you in each and every way that you need a man to be there for you i'm going to do that okay i just channeled that baby okay this is what this person i'm telling you vow to do baby i'm telling you this this here okay uh we got struggle love here glow and grow together so some of you all could have been together you know and and you all could have been you know going through that struggle phase where it was one of you was going through something financially or both of you all could have been going through something financially here okay um and you know sometimes finances can 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 put a hurt on a relationship. Okay, it really can. One of the big 
causes of separation is finances, money, some not enough money coming in. People, you know, somebody arguing about the bills, who's gonna pay that? You know, you can't do nothing if you ain't got no money. All right. And then sex is a, another factor here. Okay. Child, you, you got to keep the fire burning. Okay. You can't let that department go dry. You know what I'm saying? If you got to find the ways to do backflips or do something, you got to keep the fire burning and keep it exciting. All right. And you got to continue to date your partner. Once you get the person, you can't stop doing what it took to get them. And that's why I always say, y'all. Whatever you do to get a person, you got to keep it up. So if that ain't how you are when in, the, in, the, in the beginning stage, don't pretend to be something that you're not to get that person because that person is going to expect that out of you. All right. And that if that's that not how you are, you're going to get tired of pretending. All right. And that's going to put a hurt on a relationship. They're going to be like, dang, I thought you was like this. So, so what? You ain't going to send me flowers, Ed Thurston no more? Okay, you ain't gonna do this no more. You know what I'm saying? So if you know you're not gonna keep a certain thing up, don't start it. That's the best way to keep confusion down. Do not start it here. Okay, if you know for a fact that you ain't trying to pay your bills and this woman bills uh every month, don't start it. Because they're gonna be like, dang, I done got used to not paying no bills. Now he ain't paying my bills. You know, you see what I'm saying, y'all. Don't do it. Go into things your authentic self be you all right that's for somebody that's like a side note for somebody here okay if you know you ain't gonna keep a certain thing up don't start it all right so a person to know what they truly got you know what i'm saying don't pretend to be something or do just enough to keep that person and then after you get them you stop it you know what i'm saying keep it up but yeah some of you all definitely could have been going through something financially here okay and it's like you all are, are 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 like getting your money up here, okay? So it's like you all could have went through this struggle phase and it's like you all are going to end up like glowing together here, okay? And, you know, if if it was, if it was finances that could have caused some of you all to have a separation and, and you all had an argument and split or something like that, when you all come back together here, okay, like you're going to, it's like you all going to be able to glow together because sometimes people don't like to struggle with other people around. You know what I'm saying? Especially men, Real men, I'm telling you, do not, it's like they feel less of a man if they can't provide and they don't have money and they not stable. You know what I'm saying? Like it does something to their pride and their ego and they definitely ain't going to be out here wanting to beg and, and feel like they got to depend on a woman for something. So you got to understand like sometimes men especially don't want to be struggling around nobody. They want to make sure that they okay before they come around. You know what I'm saying? But y'all definitely going to be glowing together. You hear me? Y'all going to be glowing together. Boy, let's get some more. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Ooh, let's see what we got. All right. Okay. So this person wants to know, you know, do you think about them? You know what I'm saying? While you could be getting something together because it's not, it couldn't, you know, it might not be just this person that was dealing with something financially. But, it, you know, both of you all could have been dealing with something here, some type of hardship here in, in a particular area here, okay? Even if it was not financial, it could have been some type of struggle you all were dealing with in this relationship here, okay? Um, but this person want to know, like, baby, do you think of me? Because I think of you. So this person thinks about you. They want to know, do you think about them here, okay, when they're, you know, since they're not around here, all right? Yeah. This person here, now, y'all, some of you all could have been dealing with somebody that was not treating you right. This is for some of y'all. This might not be for all y'all here, okay? Some of you all could have been dealing with someone that was not treating you right and, and like, didn't see your worth here, okay? They was not giving you everything that you deserve here, and you met somebody in a short amount of time that was able to fulfill you and give you something that this other person you know, couldn't, you know, sometimes you could be with a person for years and then you can meet somebody and, and, and like two month time, that person made you feel better than the person you was with for years. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm picking up on something like that y'all from, for, for some of y'all, like I said, this part might not be for all y'all. It could be for a select few, but some of you all were, were like in a long-term relationship, you know what I'm saying? Or you was with somebody 
and and like this person just wasn't doing doing it for you anymore here and it's like you met somebody after that or you're gonna be meeting somebody after that and it's like they're gonna they're just gonna do it for you they're gonna you know give you what you deserve here okay they're gonna treat you right and you're gonna be for, totally fulfilled with this person here okay um let's keep going let me pull some more from here yeah look words can't even describe how much i love you like this person can't even put words together to really describe how they feel about you here okay it's like no word in a dictionary collective can can like describe you here okay no word in the dictionary can describe you here it's like this person is speechless okay you know beyonce son you got me speechless you got this person speechless okay they know they love you you know what i'm saying but this person is like is it something bigger than love if it is that's that's you collective that's how this person feels like is it something better than love because that's how i view this person like i'm telling you like words can't even describe it like this person puts you on a a a, a, a high pedestal here okay like it, it it just you it's just no words for how beautiful and amazing you are here okay captivating alluring like everything just amazing here okay okay let me get some more from another deck because i said i was gonna pull from uh different decks here okay let's see angel spirit guys ancestors and man of like give me some more here for my collective give me some more for my youtube collective okay let's see let's see Ooh. let's see what comes out y'all okay look y'all before i even started this reading i said i had end up um hearing that you all can um communicate through music with a particular person here and then we have telepathic uh telepathic communication uh so some of you all have a telepathic connection here with this person here okay so you all definitely could be uh communicating here okay telepathically here okay and you definitely can you know like i said communicate through music here okay it's like you know what this person is thinking you know what they uh feeling here okay you all definitely talk to each other here um y'all in that 5d <laughs> i've been shot by cupid i'm in love here okay yes i've been shot by cupid i'm in love this person is in love with you what i tell y'all this person is speechless this person is speechless here okay i told y'all this person is wondering like is there anything higher than love because whatever it is if it is 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 you collective this person feel like i'm telling you like they just in love you know what i'm saying you make this person extremely extremely happy here okay and that's why they telling their friends and they homeboys like look i choose this woman over y'all i'm sorry we had fun you know what i'm saying um and and part of the song and part of that song it says uh wetness all around me um which what he say wetness all around me uh but uh no peninsula or peninsula maybe i know that sound crazy or something like that okay he had plenty of a, a little cootie cat around okay and that he can have access to but he like look bro i don't i don't want that that ain't fun for me no more like i want to settle down i want something real i want a family you know what i'm saying this is what this person wants. you know what i'm saying they they don't they they done had the fun you know what i'm saying they done went around the world and explored options and all that and like baby they want quality over quantity child I don't care how many people this person could have ran into, baby. None of them compared to you. You hear me? You're like the diamond. You're the diamond and they the rhinestones. They fake. You the real deal. 
and that's what this person, you know, realized, like, out having fun, like, you know, I might have, I might have had, you know what I'm saying, sexual relations, had fun, and here and there, and all that kind of stuff, but none of that compares to having true, real love, and a true, valuable woman by my side here, that's gonna love my ass unconditionally, you know what I'm saying, that's what this person has realized, like, bro, I don't, I don't want that, I don't want that. I want quality. I want a quality woman, a valuable woman. And that's you. Okay? That's you. Let's see. Baby. This person said because of you. Baby, they know what real true love is. They know how real true love is. And they know how real true love is supposed to feel, baby. And when they went out there, child. Let me just tell you. Baby. No other woman compares to you. You hear me? Nan. Nan. You the diamond. You're the diamond. You're rare. You're rare. I hear rare breed. You're you're someone that's just very rare. Okay? Very rare. And they, they're not going to be able to find you. Nowhere else here. Okay? You the true divine feminine it's hard to come across another divine feminine you hear me it's like once in a lifetime type shit you know what i'm saying like once you get that 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 true love you have to like hold on to it because you don't know when you're gonna get it again now you 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 might find somebody but you ain't gonna you gonna always feel like it's somebody that got away you know what i'm saying so this person don't want it to be like a missed opportunity you know what i'm saying yeah they want something permanent with you bro they don't want to be out here with these uh thoughts you know what I'm saying? They don't want that. Look, baby, this person saying, look, my heart belongs to you. It could have been just a sex thing with them other females. You know what I'm saying? But then none of them had a heart, though. You had this person heart. You know what I'm saying? You had this person heart. You know, and you got this person heart. This person like, look, I, I, I'm, I'm done playing around. I'm done playing around. Look, they see you as someone that's pure. They see you as someone that's innocent here. Okay, they don't want no whore manga. <laughs> yeah, why well, I heard it like that? I don't know. <laughs> but they don't want that. Okay, they don't want that. You know? Let's see. But I told you, you're someone that's dropped dead gorgeous. They find you beautiful inside and out. You're beautiful, collective. You're beautiful here. Okay? You're someone that's very beautiful. Okay? Very, very beautiful. Let's see what we get um, out of this one here. Yeah, look, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate here, Collector. Okay, this is your soulmate here. All right, this is the person. You know what I'm saying? That you, 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 you definitely, you know, might spend the rest of your life with here. Okay. Yeah, people. You know what I'm saying? Could have hated on y'all love. You know what I'm saying? Some of them friends that this person had could have been like a bad influence. Okay, because sometimes people friends whether it's a woman or a man could be a bad influence and like bro all these women bro and you want to be with just one or you want to be with just her you know what i'm saying you know how some people friends are you know what i'm saying we can't pick and choose people friends but sometimes people friends are a bad influence you know what i'm saying especially if they can't find a, the type of quality or caliber woman that you are they'll hate a little bit you know what i'm saying and they'll do it in a sneaky way, like, bro, why all these women, you know what I'm saying? Why you, why you, why you want to sit her down right now? But in all in, in reality, it's because they're really jealous and hate that they can't find the the kind of kind of woman that you are. You know what I'm saying? But they they'll try to uh throw it off like they just want want that person to go out and have fun and live life, but it really be a jealousy envy type thing and that's what i'm picking up on here okay so this person definitely could have had people around them that was jealous of y'all you know relationship here or or envy that you know what i'm saying or you know it, or it, it could have even been the women here you know wanted to come in and like you know try to lure this person away here okay because they hate the kind of relationship that you all have but this person choose you at the end of the day here okay they choose you they want quality over quantity. They don't want to be in the streets. Okay, they don't want to be in the streets. They don't want that. 
okay they like look bro we can still be friends bro we can still be the bros and be friends but i choose this woman though that's what i want i want to set her down bro and it don't, it don't it ain't nothing against you it don't take away from our friendship our brotherhood and none of that but i just can't do what i used to do you know what i'm saying and that's what this person is telling them you know yeah this person is ready to cater to you they're ready to cater to you here okay yeah yeah, in the beginning, this person might not have been completely ready here. Because like I said, it could have been a financial thing. You know what I'm saying? And 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 some of them at the time was out having fun. You know what I'm saying? They felt like it, they, shit, they wanted to explore their options. You know what I'm saying? Fighting demons, different things. But now they ready. They ready to cater to you here. Okay? Yeah. Cook. Y'all, I had picked up on somebody that was a professional cook. So some of y'all person could be a professional cook or you could even been the professional cook but this person definitely wants to cook for you like some type of uh dinner and this person feels like you had more of an impact on their life um than people that's been in their life for years here because you you don't, you're the one that showed this person what real love is you showed this person you know what it is to to have somebody true um, by their side no matter what so even though you all could have went through like a separation or was going through something here like you never stopped praying for this person you kept being their form you know what i'm saying you didn't treat this person bad or anything here okay you know what i'm saying you stayed you you had a positive outlook on the situation the whole entire time and you still sent this person love and light here okay and they admire you for that they they love you for that here okay because it's like you didn't force them to do anything you you let this person figure things out on their own and you know what i'm picking up on you know how what's that song um by uh heather hetley she said, uh, when you love something, you have to let it go. But if it comes back, it means so much more. And this is that situation here. Like, you didn't force nothing. You know what I'm saying? You didn't force anything. And it's like this person, and you know, you, you gave this person their freedom to do whatever it is that they want while you worked on your life and loved yourself and all of that. And it's like, it's coming back together even better the, this, this, this second time around here, okay? Yeah. Feel alone without, yeah, they feel alone without you, bro, okay, they feel alone without you, they want your love and your energy here, okay, they, 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 they missing you, they want you, yeah, yeah, they missing you, like I said, they're missing you, miss your affection, they miss how sincere you are, okay, you all definitely could be lovers and friends here, okay, which is definitely why, when you all had like a little hiccup, like you didn't, you didn't hate this person. You know what I'm saying? You still sent them love. You still sent them light. You still wanted the best for them because you all were friends too. And that's the best relationship to have y'all is to have a friendship too. You know what I'm saying? Because when you have a relationship that's based off sex, when, when, when something goes sour, what, what else do you have? You don't have anything, but at least if you have a friendship, you have something to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this person loves, that you all have like um, a lovers and friends type relationship here. Okay? So it's like you all, even though you all could have been separated physically, spiritually, you all still were connected. Okay? Because this is your soulmate here. Okay? This is your soulmate here. Okay? I'm going to get a few more here. Let's see. I'm going to get something from this Oracle deck here. Okay. Give me some spirits. Give me some from this deck. I don't want to come out of this one. So I'm not going to worry about it. Nothing wants to come out of that. So I guess spirit don't have anything to come out of that one. Oh, okay. Some came out of that one. Okay. I want to go out of my way to do things for you. Okay. And in the other deck, it said that this person wants to cater to you. Okay. So this kind of like confirms on what the other uh, deck said. This person wants to cater to you. They want to go out their way to make sure that you have everything that you need and want. This person want to be everything that you want and need in a man here. Okay. They don't want you to be able to go to nobody else for nothing. 
okay you got a man now baby you got a man now you ain't got to go to mama you ain't got to go to daddy grandma grandpa friend auntie none of that baby you got a whole man right here that, that's that's gonna gonna make sure guarantee that you got everything you want and you need baby Ooh, wait i love that okay who are that <laughs> who are that look i had that thought and you spoke it into the 3d what i baby Bet. I told y'all, y'all have a telepathic communication here, okay? You all definitely already together in the 5D here, okay? Things just had to come into play on the physical here. But the spirit and the spirit that your angels, your spirit guides, and your ancestors already working this thing out here for you, for y'all here, okay? And it's like in, the, in, in this process, you stay optimistic. Your affirmation and your prayers, you know, brought things together here, okay? So you spoke it into 3D. You manifested this here, okay? So you definitely could have been praying for your person like, oh, God, I hope this person get it together. I hope we be together. I hope they, you know, do this and do that here, okay? And it worked, okay? It worked. God heard you. Your spirit team heard you, baby, okay? They had their arms wrapped around you and this person and this connection. You hear me, baby? But anyway, it says, I can look at you for hours and feel so many positive emotions. Look, when you are with each other, this person could just look at you and gaze into your eyes and just stare at you, okay? This is because they admire you, baby. You're captivating. You're alluring. You 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 just get this person high. This person be looking at you like, woo. Okay, they be undressing you with your eyes, with their eyes, y'all. Okay, they just be like, oh, my God, this woman is so freaking beautiful. Like, how did I get so lucky? How did I get so lucky? Okay, or this person could just be looking at your pictures and your videos, you know what I'm saying right now? And like, oh my God, they could just stare at them. They could just stare at them because you look so good and they missing your tail here, okay? Yeah. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Let's see. Acquaintances first, friends second, and lovers third. Y'all, what did I say? Didn't I say lovers and friends? Didn't I say lovers and friends? You're you're a friend to this person as well, which is why when you all went through something here, it's like it it was kind of like no bad blood. You know what I'm saying? Now you you know what I'm saying? Cause we all human. You you could have cried. You know what I'm saying? You could have you know felt sad, but it's like you didn't hate this person and you still wanted the best for this person and prayed for this person here. Okay, so it's like you all were acquaintances first, friends second, and lovers third here. Okay, so it's like you're you know you both everything in one for each other here okay let's see i'm gonna get some some of these here see what come out uh oh i didn't mean to put that one in there let me see uh oh Ooh. Uh oh, let me just grab some, y'all. Okay, somebody here could be from San Diego. Okay, San Diego. What else, spirit, from this? San Diego. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Somebody named could be Emily. Emily. Let me see. Long Island here. I got Long Island. And y'all, this don't even supposed to be Minnesota. This don't even supposed to be in here. I got Emperor. I told y'all, I in my third eye, I seen Emperor. This person, when they come in, is gonna be a, a Emperor. I got Wisconsin here. Okay. Wisconsin. Somebody named could be Jason. Somebody could uh uh be from Arkansas. You got Philippines, okay. You got uh, Guam, Guam, let's see, y'all, yeah. Kentucky, let's see, Bronx, New York, 50, somebody could be 50. 
or something about the 50s. Somebody could have even been born in the 50s. Definitely. Gordon. Somebody's name could be Gordon. I heard, I heard also gourmet. And I told y'all somebody could want to cook. Somebody's name could be Savannah or somebody uh, is from... Um, Savannah, Georgia, or Georgia, if it's not Savannah. Somebody name could be Abigail, Kayla. We got four. Something significant about four. Okay, Ingram. So it could be the fourth day. It could be the fourth month here. Okay, so April. Something about November. You got 20. Somebody could be in their 20s. Something about the uh, 20th here. Spain. Okay, that's it, y'all. That's all.